Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 10. In this training tutorial, we're going to take a look at setting up switched inputs as well as a trim pot for our Haltech Elite using our NSP software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up a switched input into our Haltech Elite system using our NSP software. We're also going to be exploring how to set up a rotary trim pot a little bit later in this tutorial. Now a switched input can be anything from a clutch switch to a nitrous arming switch. If we want to go and turn a status from off to on so we can use it as a condition in let's say some of our programming or into a table, we actually can have uh, a state such as air conditioning switch being off or on. We can use that as a programming status, as a runtime value in our table, or as a conditional for turning something on or off. We want to go in and learn how to work with various different types of switch configurations because we can wire our switches in a couple different ways. So I'm going to talk about that here in this tutorial. Now, the vehicle I'm working with here, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a clutch switch. That's the switch that I have configured in my car. And I've actually went in here and I set up the switch type as both a 12 volt and as a ground. And I'll explain that a little bit later because there's going to be differences in the programming details. So I can actually just flip flop the wires to make my clutch switch either a 12 volts activation or a ground activation. And uh, I'm just doing this so that you can see the differences when you want to go and set up a switch. Because again, you have some programming options and some flexibility there. Let's jump in and take a look at how we're going to set up a clutch switch here based on various different types of conditions and we'll move into the trim pot. So I'm going to move from my startup window right now over here into the main window you can see on the left. And then we're going to open up the navigation tree so we can start to navigate on our left side here. In order to find our clutch switch, we need to move into our sensors area here. And then we'll move into our sensors status if we turn on or off a particular sensor. In this case, we want to turn on our clutch pedal switch. So in here, I'm going to toggle this on. Now it's going to give me this warning because we haven't set anything up yet. We haven't configured any of the wiring details. So let me go down here and find the clutch pedal switch. We can see here clutch switch and we're going to go ahead and click on this. Now right now it's going to show us at the top under the input mode we see that it's set for CAN input. We have some options, digital switched or CAN input. If you're going to be using a CAN switch pad or if you're going to be using in the case of a vehicle that has a clutch switch that's wired through and it's broadcasting through the CAN network, well then you would be able to assign that to that particular CAN network and being able to select it via CAN. There would actually be no configuration and no wiring because that broadcast of either off or on is happening on the OEM side of things and it's broadcasted through the CAN network as just a status channel either on or off. So there's really no details in terms of the wiring or anything configuration wise other than selecting it through our menus right here. So I'm not going to cover that because I don't have that in my vehicle right now. I actually have a physical clutch switch that is not set up through the CAN, which is going to allow me to go here to set up the digital switched. Now when we select the digital switched, we have a couple options. If we go to assign here, we're going to find that we can either use an analog input for a switch on off status, or we can use a sync pulse input. Now the sync, sync pulse input are, is usually the way that I like to go because it's expecting a digital signal, a pulse on or a pulse off. Now, in this case, just so I can illustrate this, we're going to take a look at both setting up an analog input and setting up a sync pulsed input so we can just see the variations there. It's really the same type of uh, configuration and details, but I just wanted to just give you an illustration of both of these. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go into my AVI3. That's where I've wired my clutch switch for this first example we're going to take a look at. When we select it right now, we can see that the status is showing off. If I click OK here, we're going to find that it's added here into our window. Now, what we can see here is that it's going to show us what the raw state of our clutch circuit is going to be. We see it showing about roughly zero volt. We see it's fluctuating around a little bit, but approximately zero volt. We can see it's going to say switch on voltage. So if it exceeds two volts on the circuit, the status right here showing off right now will change to on. If it drops below one volt, it'll go from on to off. So this is the status of our switch, either on or off, and this is that raw voltage that the Haltech is looking at. So we need to go specify when, when we're going to consider it to turn on 
and turn off. Now you're noticing here there's about a volt separation between the on voltage and off voltage. We want to usually have about a volt separation between here so it has a, uh, an account for a debounce effect where sometimes if you turn the switch on the voltage can actually bounce if you're looking at it really quickly and uh, it, it can then trigger on off status. It can actually create almost a, uh, a, a bouncing effect in the status. We don't want that. We want to have about a volt spray. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.